Hello everyone, I'm the Crumbian Archer, and welcome to Talisman the Horus Heresy. This uh, Talisman is a game set in the Warhammer 40k universe, um, which I am actually not that familiar with, but I know a little bit about it. And uh, it is an online board game, essentially. It is, you know, as you'll see when we get into it, it's very much a board game played in the computer. Uh, it's pretty cool. I actually really like board games, especially very complicated ones, so this game is right up my alley. I've only played about three quarters of a game um, just to get my basics underneath me so that I wouldn't be a complete dumbass when I was playing here. I am, however, going to turn the... the uh, I'm going to reset the tutorials so that all the tutorial stuff pops up um, so that we can talk about it and I can read it to you so that you can get a basic idea of what it is. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game. This is the game that I was playing. We'll start a start a new game. So this is on this screen. You can set up local game against any combination of human or AI players. Blah, blah, blah. We can also change our heroes, which I'm going to do right now. Actually, I'm not going to change it. I like. There's a whole bunch of heroes, as you can see, and they all have different uh, moves. Like, he starts the game with one random stratagem. He may use two weapon loadouts at the same time. He may discard one, reveal the data slate, and replace it with a new one. He may he uh, he must encounter the new data slate. Actually, I might take this guy. So, so you know, all that probably meant absolutely nothing gibberish to you at the time. And some of them are very complicated, as you can see here. Um, so that guy that I was with before this guy, he is a very uh, very basic. Was why I had picked him in the first place. But now that I have some basic understanding, this guy seems nice enough. So we're gonna take him. We'll start a new game, and then I'll, I'll read the tutorials and talk about them as we go along. Certain warlords start the game with a stratagem. A randomly selected stratagem must be taken before the start of the game. Alright, so we will take this. Uh, orbital Bombardment. Choose any data slate revealed on the map and discard it. Okay. Warlord is shown as the map here. Each warlord starts in a random sec sector of the game. The object of the game is to reach the Vengeful Spirit at the center of the galaxy and defeat Horus or the Emperor. To reach the Vengeful Spirit, you must first acquire a Talisman, which you will need to access the Inner Palace. You move around the galaxy in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction by rolling dice to see how far you may travel. As far as I can tell, that's actually how far you have to travel, um, but I'll get to that in a second. Your Warlord is shown here, and can be selected to view more information shown below. Uh, next to your Warlord are their statistics Resolve, Fate, Resource, Close Combat, Ranged Combat, and Strategy. Those are these numbers along the side. Uh, symbol, legion symbol is at the top. Statistics are very important to determine your power and progression. Resolve is basically your hit points. Uh, resolve can be lost in combat. Goes up to a maximum value of 10. If you get to zero, you die. So resolve is hit points. Fate is your uh, luck and fortune. You can use it to make uh, to reroll your die rolls when you uh, mess them up or you just decide you don't like it. Um, you have to take the second roll if you do re-roll it, though. Resource is your money. You can buy equipment, pay for services throughout the galaxy. Each warlord starts with the game with one resource, but can get more. Close combat statistic represents your might, stamina, ability to fight close, and, and range melee. This may be increased by defeating your opponent or various encounters. Ranged combat is uh, takes place when you have a firefight. Statistic will be determined their power. Range common to increase and defeat your opponents in a firefight or for various encounters. Warlord's strategy statistic, st statistic represents how battle hardened he is, and it is increased by victories in firefights or melee up to a maximum value of 3. I actually start at 2, that's pretty good. That guy starts at 0, 0, 0. Yeah, so we start much better than others. This number determines how many stratagems a warlord can hold and use. Stratagems will explain later. When you're ready, roll the dice to start. Data slates you've collected are shown below. Yep, right there. So let's roll the die. We rolled a one. After rolling to move, sectors you can move to will glow. And you pick one. So we can either go here. Each map space is called a sector, and each one tells you what will happen when you decide. Read the sector description, then click travel here. So we can go here, which is a forge world. We can purchase things. Basically, all we would be able to purchase is Mark V armor because it costs one resource. Or we can go here. It will become embroiled in a battle for fall. 
roll one die. Let's uh, let's go to the Forge World. So you you know you move, and you go here, and we can purchase things. Forge World sectors allow you to purchase armor, weapon loadouts, and vehicles. Each select each available item resource cost to make a purchase. Select the item and purchase. So this is uh, if your legion is defeated in a firefight and lose one resolve, run one die. If you roll a six, mark five. Heresy pattern power armor protects you and your troops, and you don't lose a resolve. Everything else costs more money, so we're not going to bother with that. We'll just take the mark five armor, and we'll continue. Completed their turn. It's next is this guy's turn. So we're on the two blue are on the same time, two red are on the same side. Don't come fight me, dude. Leave me alone. It's er, too early. Okay, I guess we're gonna fight. Oh no, he's entering the sector. Okay, he didn't want to fight. Good. I don't want to fight either. Alright, so now it's this guy's turn. But you can see it's very much a board game. There's, I mean, it's clearly laid out as a board. And there's a game. There's dice rolling. I like this new, it's kind of a new, I wouldn't say it's a new trend, but I feel like it's happening more recently that there'll be these online, that are essentially online board games. I played one called F Space Food Truck a little while back, which was super fun. Um, I'm not talking too much about what the other people are doing because it happens a little too fast for me to get in. Um, but we'll, we'll be doing the things that they're doing eventually, so I'm just kind of letting that, letting that go. But basically they move, and then they do whatever they have to do on the thing. In this case, they investigate a sector. They have to take two of these things and deal with them. So, they take... Oh, those equipment. They decide which equipment... Can you take them both? Oh, we got to take them both. Nice deal. Alright, my turn again. Roll die. Two. So we can go here... Boiled in the fall system, or we can go here. We'll lose, or if we go here, we're gonna lose one resolve. So let's go. Let's go see what's happening in the fall system. All right. Some sectors require you to roll die and consult a list of results. After rolling, a fate point can be used to re-roll if you're not happy. So we'll re roll. We got a three. So that says two to three loyalists. The fleet is attacked by forces of the Iron Warriors Legion. So we have to fight. Um, or we can use a fate point. Which one? How much fate do I have? Two. What do we have? We've got uh, it's a melee combat. We've got a three. That's not so bad. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Let's fight. When you encounter an opposing unit. Um, which uses its close combat ability. It's called melee. Melee starts with the roll, uh, roll of the die. The roll is determined your attack roll, your attack score, it's the total following numbers close combat. You start it and you you add. So we'll roll and then we'll add the three. They're going to roll and add the four. So that might not have actually been a very good choice. Hold on, right. Two attacks, attack scores are compared, and if your attack score is higher, you win. So let's see. Come on, roll crap. Oh, they beat us. Okay. Iron Warriors win. So we're gonna lose a lose a resolve. You have lost a resolve point. Resolve can be lost and defeated in combat. You lose them all, you're dead. That's annoying. I thought we could take those guys. See, easy now we have a three here instead of a four like we had before. He's going here, he's investigating the sector. He gets to gain a resource, so he gets a choice of two, which they actually appear to be the same thing, so. Servo skull. So that's just. Oh, he has to take them both. Alright, so he's gonna roll a die and go one space. Oh, he's gonna go encounter that guy. Counter Warlord said, so, yeah, okay, so the, the Warlords um, can choose if they want a melee or, or a firefight attack. So he chose a firefight, rolled a six, that's very good. 
four. So our guy wins. Go Corvette, Corax. He gets to take some of his stuff too. It looks like he gets to take some of his equipment. Nice. And it knocks his resolve down, I think. I don't know. This is the Forge World? This is the Forge World? Yeah. Just gonna buy armor. Everyone, everyone's buying the armor. Alright, my turn again. Two. Alright, we're on a transition tile, but apparently we can't use it. So, we can go here. Um... Or we can go here. I'm gonna go to this planet because something interesting is gonna happen. So let's go there. Because it's, it's a loyalist world. Incoming decree. You are summoned to stand in the Council of Nikea. Testimony. We roll a one. You must give a testament. Lose one turn. We have an honor battle. Imperial tithe. Reinforcements. But, so it looks like we want uh, four, five, or six is what we want. Two is an honor battle. I would prefer not to do that. Let's re-roll it. One, that's even that's even worse. Oh, well. Yeah, you turn the minions immediately. So we just have to wait. Oh, well. It was, a, it was a, an attempt, but we didn't make it. We had a 50-50 shot. So what's this guy doing? Investigating the sector. Golgothan wastes. Counter this. Uh, I don't really know what that was happening there. Firefight. So that's a good. I guess that gives them something. I don't know. It's kind of hard to keep track of exactly what's happening with the uh, with the AIs. Is this one of our worlds or one of the other ones? Chaos Demons. Oh. This doesn't look good for us. Or for our buddy. Come on, roll crappy. Oh, he won. I didn't think he won there. Oh, and there's a thing that hasn't come up for us yet, but you should see. If you see, if you notice these skulls are filling in here, these are essentially XP points that you get when you win battles, and then when they get all the way full, I believe, you get another point. Um, that hasn't happened for us yet, because the only fight we've gotten into we lost, but Cor Corax is doing pretty good over there. Reinforcements, alloyist and traitor units, something. Roll one die. Six. Alright, so that they got those people to join them. This guy is a... Alright, I just paused the game. Uh, you may pay one resource to have, to move the assassin to any space with a data slate. You may then choose one data slate in that sector for the assassin to destroy. Um, so you can essentially take things out, out of play. Use magnifying glass. Yes, I know how to zoom in and out. We just missed a turn. That was our, that was our lost turn right there. I'm torn between wanting the AI to move faster so it's my turn again, and wanting them to go slower so I can actually read what's happening. <laughs> Investigate the sector. Warp gate. On your next turn... I missed it. Alright, so he's got a 5. Where are you going, buddy? So you can pass through there, you can see it's highlighting in that direction. Have you already been here? Close combat. A legion, a storm reaver, mul manipul. Who won straight out, I guess, because he was so strong. These S's are strangers. It's like the, the assassin guy is here, and I guess the that people that he just fought 
are, live here, so. So you have to fight them if you end up on those spaces, so try to avoid it. Caliban. Manufacturing could Four ranged combat counters are here. You receive munitions from manufacturer once per visit and increase your ranged combat by taking one encounter. When you have all four have been taken, it's depleted and removed. Okay. So it'll be good to go there if we can. Roll die. Three. What's here? Two data slates. All right, let's so uh, travel there. I'm gonna try and get to this because I'd like to. I'd like to buff our um, travel if we can. Some sectors require you investigate when you draw requested data slates. Contain many events, confrontations, equipment for you to discover. Investigate. All right, investigate sector. After the required number of data slates have been revealed, you may click on each one to read its details. Choose encounter command when you're ready. Counter the data slates revealed. When you reveal more than one data slate. In a sector, you ha they encounter in the following order. Events and Titan units, unit close co combat, unit range combat, strangers, equipment vehicles, fleets, and places. So we're going to encounter equipment. And this is what? A strike cruiser. All right. I think this might actually be good for us. We gain one resource, and we get a fleet. So continue. Uh, encounter. So we're going to gain a resource, take equipment. Your mission to the Vengeful Spirit will encounter various fleets that which will accompany you if you accept them. They often give you bonuses and help you out in certain situations. If you wish to take a fleet with you, choose Take Fleet Command. If you wish to leave them in the sector, you can choose Leave Fleet here. There's no limited number of fleets you can have. So this is going to give us plus one close combat, plus one range combat. I will absolutely take you with me. Just crossing over into the inner ring. Investigate the sector. What you got for us? He's got a firefight if he when he fights this. All right, a three and a one. Well, that's a good roll. No, oh, he's gonna win. Oh, man, I was hoping he was gonna lose that. Monumental City. Yeah, you can see he got some experience points there. Investigate the sector. It's a contested world. Mm, I don't know what happened there. Whatever. So he can go, he can move through this if he wants to. He's gonna see the stranger. Are you gonna assassinate somebody? You gonna use him? Apparently no. <laughs> use the Warlord Progress icon to see the clothes. So this is, we can use this. We can see that, like, I'm a 4 4, he's a 5 1 3 2. And there are other things that don't matter yet, I guess. Let's roll our die. I'd really like to get there. 3. So we'd lose one resolve if we go there. We have to do the decree if we roll there, but I want to go to here. Hmm. It's probably a bad time to use our reroll, but I'm going to use it. Alright, so we got a four, so we'll go here. Probably should save our reroll for more important things, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna lose this game anyways, because we're just just learning. Data slates will stay in the sector. Alright, so what if we get two resources? Excellent. Place. Warp Ravaged World. The Warp Ravaged World will remain in this sector for the rest of the game. Investigate the world by rolling one die. One attacked by bloodthirsty corn. Attacked by flesh hounds of corn. Cahorn. I don't know. Lose one turn, gain two resources. Yeah, so we will. Alright, continue. Encounter. 
So we get our equipment, and then this thing is here. So we have to deal with it, I guess. Two. We're gonna attack with the Flesh Hounds of Corn. See, this is where I should have used my reroll. <laughs> so we roll. Got a six. I got an eight. All right. Take a hit. Boo. All right. I lost resolve. I know. For example, there's so you must access two data slates, but you already have one there. Yeah, if something is already there, you have to deal with it. Game when resolve a resource. We're not uh we're not not good fighters, it turns out. You'd think with a solid 4-4 four four we'd be halfway decent, but apparently not. I really hope we roll a one next time. I really want to get that range combat boost. World Eaters Dreadnought Town, though. This is not going to go well, probably. Oh, he's assassinating them. I don't really know what assassinate means, but he's doing it. Somehow it let him win. Okay. He gets resources. Alright. Mortarion, where are you going? Back towards me, huh? Investigate sector. He's gonna, he's gonna gain a resource. And what's the other thing? Mass conveyor. Oh, I missed it. I think it let him carry. I think it increased his um, inventory space. Basically, what happened? Resume game, please. All right, come on, one, six. That is the exact opposite of what of number one. We'll go. Let's go to the inner ring, huh? Two data slates. Two data slates. Two data slates. Two data slates. All right, let's go do two data slates. <laughs> oh, we got to go through here apparently. Um, use ranged combat or use close combat? Let's use ranged combat. Probably should have read that. <laughs> Old dice. A uh, three. I lost resolve again. I'm down to two. I'm down to one. That's not good at all. This is not a this this fight is not going well, I have to say. They got the infernal quest. Don't know what the quests are. We haven't we haven't run into that yet. I wonder what happens if we die, I wonder if we literally start from the beginning or if we're just out. Be an interesting thing to find out. Gonna use the stranger. Choose a day. He is gonna use the slight stranger. Excellent. Gonna kill the big guy. What are you gonna kill? Come on, Corax. Make a choice. Is he stuck? Seems to be stuck. Alright. 
I think he got stuck, which is good. We can stop here anyways. I forgot. I think I forgot to mention this is a preview build of the game. The game is coming out toward the end of February. Um, so there are a few bugs for things like this that haven't uh, haven't been squashed yet. But they got several weeks before it's coming out, so it's not a big deal. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to come back and play a little bit more, but I wanted to give you a, a, a check out here. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much.